they actually put a lot of energy and research and time into it. They got a dollar amount saying, hey, this is what we need. And what did they say? Oh, no, we can't give y'all cash payments. That's why these studies are a big nothing burger. Glad to have you with us today. And today, we're going to talk about how the Georgia House introduced a bill to study reparations for black Georgians. Hmm. Now, haven't we heard this episode before? You know, in California, when they did a study for reparations for black Americans, they actually did a, they actually put a lot of energy and research and time into it. They got a dollar amount saying, hey, this is what we need. And what did they say? Oh, no, we can't give y'all cash payments. That's why these studies are a big nothing burger. Okay. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because here's the, here's the, here's the thing. Every time black Americans ask for something or need help or whatever, it's always a problem. Okay. But these Democrats, right. They're okay. Cutting a check for the migrants. They're okay. Cutting a cat check from Ukraine. They're okay. Cutting a check for Israel. Right. But when we ask for something, Oh no, we can't get it. But you see them spending your tax dollars, your tax dollars on other groups, and you get nothing in return, even though you faithfully, even though we faithfully vote for them for the past 50 years, right? And get nothing out of it. And you know, if it, if it don't pass in California, how you expect it's going to pass in other blue states or in our cities, right? They're going to copy it and mimic each other. That's what they do. And that's why this new reparation study or this bill that they're going to try to pass in my state ain't, it's just a big nothing burger we shouldn't fall for it it's election time and they know that reparation is becoming popular in our black communities now we're talking about we're getting engaged about it okay but these democrats are not are, are, are in the way the democrats are trying to lead us and vote four more years and like i said before if they find a way to get those migrants to vote which they tempt in new york they fail but if you put them in a former year, not only we're not going to get reparations or anything like that. Oh, the black vote ain't going to mean crap in this country. You hear me? Anyway, I got a video to show you. We're going to switch screen. And I want to show you all the video about this admission has to be. And I want you to pay attention to the keyword. Because I'm going to pause to be every now and then and put my commentary about. But I want you to pay attention how this is a big nothing burger for us black Georgians. Let's go ahead and roll the clip in our state the georgia legislative black caucus the naacp and the urban league called for a special now the naacp the black caucus and the urban league all of these three organizations every time you always see these one of these three organizations always when it comes to black issue but they do nothing for all those three things that that newscaster just report they're just extensions of the democrat party they serve their democrat masters I don't even understand how these organizations can sit there and lead our people to our own destruction. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But let's continue. Commission to discuss reparative justice for the descendants of slaves. The channel is Audrey Washington with us now live at Clark Atlanta University in Southwest Atlanta. Audrey's students there will get a chance to weigh in on the plan. Right, and that meeting got underway here inside Clark Atlanta University just about 15 minutes ago. But earlier today at the state capitol, the group got together to discuss exactly how reparations would work and how they would look here in Georgia. How long? Not long. Not long. Social justice and state leaders all gathered for the Reparations Day public forum. It's time to pay the debt. It's time to listen to the children of those who were enslaved in Georgia. The organizers. It's funny he say that. It's time to listen to our ancestors and stuff. But you sit up there and you side yourself with the evil Democrats. That is including the NAACP, the Urban League, and the Black Caucus. All of them. Unbelievable. They, they, they try to tie us with these fancy words, these strong emotional words. But I hope y'all don't fall for it because I'm definitely not falling for it. The crowd, they want action behind House Bill 955, otherwise known as the Georgia Equity and Fairness Commission Act. Pass. Pause. I'm sorry. Pause. Um, it says right here to create a Georgia Equity and Fairness Commission to provide for members and also to provide for meetings, quorum, um, and compensation to provide 
The commission duties and power to provide for reporting to provide definition by that short title to provide a legacy fine. You see what it's right across the screen. But I want you to keep that in mind, folks. So we got a little bit in the beat. Keep that in mind. Okay. Treating this conversation. It's called the Georgia Equity and Fairness Commission. Okay. To provide meanest corn for for um and for compensation, right? This is for reparation, right? Now keep this in mind. Keep it in mind. Let's roll. Now, this guy's a Democrat, right? He's the author. He's one of the authors of the bill, right? He's saying we're doing a study to push where it affects um, study on slavery and blah, blah, blah. I mean, again, why are you doing a study? You don't need a study. You need to just go ahead and pass through and say, hey, look, this is, this is what, um, this is the amount that should um, help with reparation and so forth, right? That's what you need. You don't need a study because the study, again, you didn't do this long-term study for other groups. Just a study. Just cut the check. Citizens in Georgia and to come up with recommended remedies for the damage that has been done. Last year, Fulton County formed a similar reparations task force. Members began looking into ways to provide reparative justice to descendants of slavery within the county. But at the time, Fulton County Board of Commissioners Chair Rob Pitts said though he was interested in the findings, he was still fundamentally against reparations. There you go, folks. Black Democrat saying he agreed in the beginning, but ultimately he's against reparation. This is from Fulton County. Do you see? And now they're trying to pass a commission, a study, a study on the state level, the study about reparation. Do you see connect the docs, folks? Do you see this? If they can't pass it on the local level, what makes you think they're going to be able to get it on the on the um, state level? This is a nothing burger. This is something to say, well, well, we tried to pass it, and you know how it is. You know how it is, but it's a nothing burger. You already knew from the beginning, and they even tell you that they're against it. So if you're against reparation, why are you even trying to create a study for it? Why are you trying to pass this? Black, black folks, I want you to come with me. Come here connect the dot you heard it from his own what the um newscaster said he's not he's not for reparation let's continue i want you to hear from his mouth being it would go from a personal point of view that would deal with a financial contribution i would have serious issues with that state representative he has serious issue for a, a financial company aka cash payments this is he's over to um commissioner the fulton fulton board right he's black and he's saying he's against reparations. Now let's see what this guy's gonna say. Bruce says reparations are not just about money, but about making a wrong right. No, 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 no. It is about money. It's absolutely about money. The Native American got reparations, right? They got kept paid out. The Japanese from Pearl Harbor, what we did to them, they got paid out. All these other groups got paid out for reparations. And then the migrants are getting paid out. This modern day today, they're getting paid out. No study, no nothing, no strings attached. They're getting they're getting cut a check. But these same Democrats, especially these black Democrats right here, right? They want you to go out there and vote for Biden and put them in for another four years. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Are you serious? And you heard out their mouth, folks, that these two people he. He said he has a problem. This guy said he's a, it's a problem. And the other guy just put out said, no, no reparations. He's against the cash payments. And that's what we want. We want cash payments. Don't sell us this, this dream about right and the wrong stuff. You want to write the wrong thing, you cut the check. That's what y'all need to do. That's what I'm saying. These Democrats are not are against us. I'm telling y'all. We are, and I don't want to hear nothing about Republicans. We already know Republicans don't care about the black vote. We already, we already know. I'm talking about the group that we've been um, voting faithfully for the past 50 plus years, and we still ain't gonna get, and we still not getting nothing in return. Let's continue. Asking the government to give us anything. This is I'm gonna back it up for a second. Hold up, that's an important part. This is pay payment for services rendered. I'll repeat it one more time. I went back too far. Service 
service is rendered. We are absolutely asking the U.S. See that this guy is the one of the authors of the bill, and he's saying that oh, we're not asking the U.S. government. Well, we oh, absolutely, we want we want to go. We're asking the government to pay us to cut the check. If the state does it, that's fine. But we're still gonna come after that U.S. government, the federal government. They need to cut that check. Okay, and I'm all for states that want to cut the check for us. That's good too. Because Georgia was part or was a slave state. Very simple. Let's continue. And I'm told the bill is currently with the State Planning and Community Affairs Committee. As for the forum here at Clark Atlanta University, I'm told that it will run until 9 o'clock tonight. And we are live here right outside of Clark Atlanta University. Audrey Washington, Channel 2 Action News. Well, there you have it, folks. There you have it. You already know where this is going to run. They're going to do the commission. It might pass through, might not, but it's a nothing burger. It's not going to go nowhere, okay? If they can't even get reparation cash payment passed in California, the Democrat central of this country, it ain't going to pass down here in Georgia for sure. <laughs> and you already hear the Republicans already said they're against reparations anyway. So, again, I don't know why the Democrats aren't even trying to pass this. They're not even trying. They're against. If they're siding. See, that's why I keep saying that these two parts are the same birds of the same, same wings. I'm sorry. Same wings of the same bird. They work together because they agree with the Republicans as well. Oh, no, we shouldn't do reparations. But yet they want us to come to the voting booth and vote for them. Are you serious? Do you see how the Democrat Party is such an evil, manipulative party for the black community? We get nothing in return. They want to do study stuff, but they're okay cutting a check for other groups. That's what I'm saying, folks. Oh, you bet. Oh, you do not. You have a, listen, and I'm going to say this. You have a right to vote whoever you choose, but I'm just saying right now. You vote for Biden. You vote for all these Democrat stuff. I'm just going to call it. You anti-black because it makes no sense. That you will vote for these people just because they look like you doesn't mean they're for you. You will vote for these folks because they look like you and they'll sell you down the river in a minute. For their masters at the Democrat plantation. Eat for those butter biscuits. Don't be a butter biscuit eater. Don't vote for Biden and the Democrats in 2024. Or else we're going to be in trouble. We're going to be up a creek because they're not afraid to sell us down the river. You already seen that. What's going around in this country. 